Hi, I'm Pastor Sarah. Welcome to my video blog, Elios. Elios is Greek for mercy. Here you will find musings from church, from my personal life, and guest speakers. Be sure to check me out every week and don't forget to subscribe. Our March emphasis of the month is Sanctum House, a sanctuary for women survivors of human trafficking. Today I have an interview with Executive Director Karen Moore. We're a long-term residential program for adult women victims of human trafficking. So there's two types of trafficking, labor trafficking and sexual exploitation. Um, all of our therapy and programming um, specializes in uh, the recovery journey of sexually exploited women. So all of our women have been sold for sex. Um, some have also been labor trafficked, but one of the requirements to uh, come into our program um, the therapy and the journey is that they've been sexually exploited. So we offer, I'm really proud of the program we've built. We've been open now over four years and we um, have a very strong mental health care program. Um, we also have a very strong substance abuse recovery program and NAAA um, uh, because the women, not only have they suffered severe trauma, but we have a co-occurring disorder of um, uh, substance abuse recovery. We deal with heroin, crack, cocaine, and um, meth, alcohol, sometimes all of the above. It can either be a means of control or a means of survival, you know, to cover up what's happening. So um, we also provide full um, health care for our ladies. So once they get here within the first month, we get them in for a physical, which is one of the, um, sometimes it's the first physical they've had or has had in decades. So for each woman, the goal and the journey is different. And we manage that all comprehensively to make sure that the balance is right for each individual person. So we built it from scratch. So we benchmarked the few programs that were in the country, picked out and developed what we thought were the best. Um, and then people just started to follow. Um, we got some federal funding, we got endorsements, strong community partners like Trinity Healthcare um, provides all the health care to our women, oh, wow. you know, and you know, they've at the St. Joe's clinics now it's all consolidated over there at Schoolcraft College, but they've been phenomenal. And we just kept building um, partners and we got this house, we actually rent it. Now we're on a path to buy this property and triple our size or triple our capacity of the number of people we can serve. Um, so the community has just been incredible. In fact, I know a lot of our women go to um, either AA or NA at your church. We also offer full legal services. And so because, you know, no matter how much you heal and take your life back, many of our women are dealing with open warrants when they arrive, they've been incarcerated, et cetera, et cetera. And so we work with expungement, we work with taking care of open cases. It could be, you know, family law, it could be, you know, many of them have a felony record. And um, there's a new law in Michigan about if it happened while you were being trafficked, there's new laws and abilities to expunge. Also provide education when they're ready, you know, so it's about a two year program. So it's a big commitment on the women, but I'll tell you to watch them take their life back and find their voice and just um, grow is incredible. People can learn about human trafficking, which is important, but then if you find someone, where do you take them and how do they heal? And it's not a 30 day, 60 day journey when many of these women have been trafficked for decades. Well, you are doing incredible work for sure. Well, and one of the things that we pride ourselves in is uh, we have staff 24 seven. There's some places they can go and the staff leaves at five. Well, the nights is when it's tough mm -hmm. because that's when the demons come out. That's when the memories come out. The, the spiritual journey these women are on is, um, is so interesting. When they come in, usually they're so angry at God because and they said, don't tell me God loves me, Jesus loves me. If he loved me, he wouldn't have let this happen. Right. So that's all a part of the anger, the self-confidence, lack of self-confidence. You know, it's everything has been stripped from their soul. So as their journey goes, we, and spiritual growth is an important part of our program, but we let them find their own way. Yeah. And some come to it early, some need it very early. Some don't need it until like middle or late in their program, but they all come to the point 
that, okay, now I can feel a spiritual void. Are there any needs uh-huh. you have that are non-monetary that are like um, goods? Well, things like, you know, coffee, you know, um, everything that you go through at your home, we go through 12 times over. Paper towels, paper plates, you know, all the regular. And now when we come to summer, we have a huge backyard and we have a grill and they're grilling outside. Um, you know, and one thing we like is gift cards um, okay. because, you know, if um, that way, like to Myers or to Kroger, um, CVS, if they need something specific and we don't have it in the house, you know, um, that they can get exactly what they want, you know. This March, during Women's Month, let us support the work of Sanctum House, a sanctuary for women survivors of human trafficking. Give generously.